Hii mheshimiwa Ngogoyo umefanya bidii kutukusanya wote. Na kwa hivyo ni siku kuu pamoja na wakati kwenda. Waziri wetu mkuu ndugu Msalia Mdavadi asanti kwa kututembelea hapa Kajado tena. Imekuwa mara nyingi tu ukikuja kwetu tunatambua urafiki wako na nafasi yako katika taifa la Kenya na ndio leo tumekuja kama viongozi wa kaunti kukupokea na kusaidiana na wewe katika ujenzi ama maendeleo ya kanisa hili katoliki kwanza kama gavana wa kaunti hii na wakati mmoja mkazi wa sehemu hii nipongeze kanisa la St Monica kwa sababu ya maendeleo mazuri ya mele, wameleta kazi mzuri wamefanya miaka kumi kufika mahali mumefika mumeanda kasi sana na mmebarikiwa na Mwenyezi Mungu najua ni wafadhili wamewasaidia lakini kama governor nimefurahi sana kuona maendeleo kama haya hapa na niseme kanisa katoliki wamekuwa msaada mkubwa katika maendeleo ya taifa letu na kaunti yetu kama sio dunia nzima Mali kanisa katoliki wako unaona watu wanainuka maendeleo inakuja walio chini wanasaidika na ndio tunafurahia kila wakati mnatuita tunakuja kuwashika mkono mumechangia mambo ya masomo katika kaunti yetu pamoja of course na maneno ya chakula ya roho your core business mambo ya justice na uiano ya watu na kwa hivyo mimi niko na heshima na upendo mkubwa kwenu kanisa katoliki kwa msaada mnaendelea kupatia communities zetu uh, hapa Kajado na ndani ya taifa letu. Waziri mkuu kwa kuharakisha maneno haya wacha niwaeleze wana Kajado juzi tumepitisha kitu inaitwa special plan. Katika mipango yetu ya serikali ya kaunti Tumekuja na ono ya kuanza safari ya kuweka kaunti yetu vizuri transforming and creating a sustainable Kajado tukilenga maneno ya mataon zetu kusema town zetu zinakuwa kazi kwa sababu ya ujirani na Nairobi na tunataka town zetu zikuwe mahali ya kufurahia kuishi sio kufumilia kuishi Tunatambua pia sisi ni kaunti ya ufugaji sehemu ya ufugaji ni sehemu kubwa iko na changamoto zake na tutaenda kuilenga katika mpango ya aggregation centers kusaidia hiyo mambo pia ya ufugaji. Na la tatu ni kutambua kwamba kubadilika kwa hali ya anga climate change ni janga kubwa pasipo wewe mipangilio ya kupambana nayo na kusaidia kulinda maendeleo yetu ili isiadhirike na mambo ya climate change. Katika mipango mpango ya kuboresha town zetu tumepitisha juicy special plan ambayo tumesema tunataka kupanga town zetu na kupanga kaunti yetu. Tukue na sehemu wananchi wanaishi zinaitwa towns, tukue na sehemu ya ufugaji, tukue na sehemu za industry zetu, tukue na sehemu ya wanyamapori ili kaunti yetu ikue ikisingatia wanaokuja baada yetu katika kwenda mbele. Ningependa kuwaomba wanakajado no mali tuliko leo tutakuja kuwaonyesha mahali barabara zinapita ndani ya town zetu na ili tuweze kujengewa mabarabara na ili kuishi kwetu ikuwe vizuri ni lazima tujitayarishe kusonga mbali na barabara ndiyo barabara zetu ziweze kutengenezwa haistahili haistahili wengine wetu kuweka kujenga mabarabara na kuchukua kama plot zao na katika mpango hiyo unapoonyeshwa hapa ni barabara kabla mashini za serikali zikuje isonge. Ya pili katika kuboresha maneno ya masingira. Tunajua tuko na shida kubwa sana ya sewerage system hapa. Lakini haiwezi kuwa ni sababu ya wale wetu wamejaliwa kujenga magorofa kuweka sewerage katika drainage ya maji ya mvua. Na kwa hivyo we have created a mazingira unit ma officer wa enforcement wa county na wa masingira wa public health wahakikishe kwamba hakuna mtu anaweka sewage ndani ya public drainage kwa sababu hiyo inaadhiri afya yetu hiyo sio poa na ningeomba wale wanahusika wa kwame otherwise wachukua hatua kali kuhusu hiyo maneno tunataka town zetu sikuwe mahali ya kufurahia kuishi 
ndio zinabeba watu wengi ndio maendeleo inakuja kwa kazi watu wanajikimu kimaisha huko kibiashara na kwa hivyo ni jukumu letu kupanga hayo na tunashirikiana na serikali kuu katika kuweka hayo maendeleo ya pili waziri mkuu mapori na najua kwa sababu mtasungumza baadaye na rais vile umeona hapa Kajado Uh, ningependa kusema wanyama pori kwa sababu ya hifadhi bora tumeziweka na watu kubali kuishi na wanyama wanyama wameongezeka na idadi ya watu pia imeongezeka lakini katika mipango zetu tuko na national park zetu tuko na Amboseli national park tuko na Chulu national park ambaye sehemu kubwa iko Kajado tuko na Savo ambaye sehemu kubwa inakaribiana na Kajado hata katika kugawa mashamba masaini wametoa what they call wildlife corridors. Vile tuliweka stima around Badeas ili wanyama wakae ndani ya msitu na watu waishi mashamba yao. It is time now we put electric fences around wildlife area ndio wakae mbali na watu. Kilio ya kila siku mtu amekufa mtu amekufa mtu amekufa sio mzuri it doesn't sound good. Na tumesingatia pia wanyama is a heritage for us from God and we want to take care of them. Na kwa sababu tumetenga mahali yao, we created corridors ya wanyama kutoka Savo kwenda Amboseli, kutoka Amboseli kwenda Chulu. In fact we want to create another corridor from Amboseli going to the Mara. If we fence those corridors, wanyama wanapata mahali mzuri ya kupitia na wanyama watakuwa msaada kwetu na si wasara. Kila wiki mtu anakufa kila wakati harambe mtu wako Kenyatta sasa hivi we have five people in Kenyatta National Hospital moja amekufa juzi waine wako hapo ndani it creates a lot of pain na inaanza kufanya wananchi wachukie wanyama pori na hiyo sio mzuri pia so we want we want to appeal to you appeal to our government that if we can now fence our wildlife corridors fence our national park then people have a way to develop the way to naenda and finally so that i invite you Jambo la mambo ya taifa. Tunajua ujenzi wa taifa ni kazi ambaye lazima tuendele is work in progress kila wakati. Katika maendeleo zetu za taifa and especially focus on session of paper 1965 that designated some sections of the country as high potential areas iwekwe maendeleo. Labda wakati hiyo it was the right thing to consider that and to put more resources there. Lakini vile sasa tumeenda tumetambua tusipo fanya maendeleo katika taifa letu la Kenya kiusawa whole country itakuwa ni vigumu sisi kufurahiana kama wa Kenya. It is necessary sasa kuangalia ni kitu gani inasaidia sehemu fulani hiyo sehemu ipewe hiyo maendeleo kwa sababu amani itakuja kwa taifa if people feel that the national cake is being fair, shared equally and fairly and that is what we will strive to do as a county in our small ways and that is what we want to appeal to the government to consider and that will bring true peace to the people of Kenya we have different potential substantial part of Kajado hapa north ni mali ya biashara we develop it as a potential area for business tuko na sehemu ambayo ziko na wanyamapori we develop it as a potential place for tourism Tuko na sehemu ya ufugaji kubwa tunaangalia mambo pia ya ufugaji ngombe ambaye najua hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza imeipatia kipaumbele na ni jambo tunashukuru. So it is important for us to realize as Kenyans we don't feel good if in any way we feel any discrimination whatsoever. And so I think that is very important in the conversation that is going to take place that collect you know total development of the country in an equitable way bring more justice bring more fairness and bring healing because we want all to build a prosperous Kenya not just for ourselves but even for generations to come nafikiri sasa niliona protocol imekorogwa korogwa mimi nilisaili kukaribishwa na naibu wangu wakati prime minister yuko hapo ama president ps hawasungumzi lakini kwa sababu ya confusion kidogo tutawaelewesha tunaposonga mbele kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo protocol ngogoyo wewe ungemuita DG ama 
Seneta hapa ndio sasa tujue protocol vile inakaa. Na kwa hivyo sasa nataka kumuomba nyinyi kanisa la Kristo tusimame tumpigie waziri mkuu makofi akuje atusungumzie alafu atuelekeze katika hafla ambayo imetuleta hapa leo. Karibu sana. Ah, 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 ah,